Okay, hi, my name is Ann Loisey, and I am a member of Plymouth Congregational United Church of Christ in Madison. We are, in turn, a member of a congregational member of MOSES, and MOSES is an affiliate of Wisdom, a statewide grassroots organization made up mostly of religious congregations of many denominations, which work to have a common voice on issues of social justice. Wisdom statewide includes participation from about 160 congregations of 19 different religious traditions. Wisdom doesn't have a statement of vision or a mission statement, but it does have a prophetic declaration, and I'm going to read just a little bit of that. We are people of faith united by our passion for justice, commitment to community, and practice of hope. We build power and act together, drawing courage and inspiration from our faith. We believe God has called us to live, speak, and act courageously in accordance with our faith beliefs. Together we create the community we seek for ourselves, but also build the power we need to transform the world around us. We will build the relationships and strategic capacity we need to powerfully engage and impact public decisions. And one way we do that every year is by having what is called an Action Day or an Advocacy Day. In the past we've partnered with other organizations. This year for the first time Wisdom is doing it alone. Uh, we, on this day, we gather together in the morning, we have inspirational speeches, and we also outline what our broad legislative issues are going to be, the topics about, about which we are most interested in speaking with the legislature. And the reason that we do this every other year, in the odd numbered years only, is because we are going to talk with legislators when they are in the process of developing the biennial state budget, so we can influence what goes into that budget. And we are speaking there as people of faith. And so after we have our time of in the morning where we gather together, then after that we fan out and go to all the legislative offices, meeting with legislators. In Madison and Milwaukee, we invite all of our legislators to come to special sessions where we have town hall meetings with them. Uh, so that is Action Day. That is happening on March 30th this year. The grant funds that we would be looking for would be used for scholarships so that everyone can attend because we bus people in from across the state, and also for food because it's a whole day long activity. My name is Frank Davis. I'm the organizer of MOSES, and we are an affiliate of WISDOM. What we do is, uh, well, according to the 2014 DOC report, African Americans made up 6% of the state population, yet we made up 38% of the prison population. Uh, Native Americans make up 1% of the state's population and make up 5% of the prison population. We cannot speak to Latinos at the D as the DOC counts them as white. Wisdom and its affiliates addresses the disparities by working on the following. Social policy issues that impact communities of color. Prison reform that targets changes in racial disparities, such as solitary confinement and education. Treatment alternatives and diversion, referred to as TAD. Two years ago, we were able to advocate for more money for TAD funding. We estimate that the extra funding has kept a minimum of a thousand people out of jail or prison. The health impact of crime is revocation on families and communities of color. Also, immigration issues such as driver's license for people who are here and undocumented. This has been successfully done in other states. These are the same issues we are bringing forward to legislators across Wisconsin. The ex expected outcomes that we look to address in this is this year we expect 900 to 1,000 people attending. Approximately 150 of those will be formally incarcerated with stronger advocacy. We can educate legislators to see with the DOC receiving 5% decrease in crime as revocations, overcrowding costs over $150 million per year. We can bring about more humane treatment to those in prison and promote a more healthy community for everyone. We must end mass incarceration and the time is now. And we must continue to address racial disparities in Madison and around the state. 